What's up, hotties? It's your girl, Leslie. Welcome back to the hottest channel on YouTube. It's Friday, baby, which means it's time for another video. I'm here to show you all of the things lifestyle so that you can have the hottest life you desire. Today, we're going to be talking all about fashion. And if you love this video, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up, subscribe, and tell a friend because we love everybody else to be here. So today we're going to be talking all about fall fashions. And yes, I know Mariah has been thawed out, which means it's officially time for Christmas. But you know, y'all not going to do my girl Thanksgiving like that, okay? I get excited for that play every year, which means it's still time for fall. We are not yet to winter. So I want to show you guys exactly how I style everything that's in my closet. We're talking high and low fashion, plus some staples that you definitely need to have every season. And I can't wait to get to it. If that's something you're looking for, stick to it. This video is just for you. What's up, y'all? So excited that you're here. Happy Friday. It's good to be with you again. Today, I wanted to answer the question that someone asked in our Keys to the Hot Life video all about how to get your personal style together. Today we're going to be doing a fall fashion styling. So one of the things that I like to do is I tend to buy timeless pieces. You could probably say that my style is a bit more classic um, because I'm able to go into my closet regardless of season and put things together without having to buy a new wardrobe every time the calendar changes. So today I want to show you about five or six outfits of the things that I already have that perhaps you may have something like it in your closet. Maybe you've seen something on the rack somewhere that you wanted to buy and you weren't exactly sure how to put it together but hopefully these five or six outfits can help you when it's time to get dressed i know that it's almost christmas but y'all not gonna do my girl thanksgiving like that okay i get excited for the plates which means it's still time for fall it's my favorite season and so we're going to keep dressing like that until december okay it's finally starting to get chilly in California, so I get super excited to like pull out all of my coats and my jackets. You know, it's so funny. People are always like, California is hot. And I'm like, no, it's not hot year round. It's not the Caribbean. Like, So we definitely wear jackets in Los Angeles because if you let the sun go down on you, you're going to be chilly. So don't come here without no coat, okay? Um, so let's get to it. Let me show you guys how I will put together these fall staples in my closet and you can learn too. Okay, y'all. So one of the first pieces that I think is a must have in your closet, whether it's winter, spring, summer, or fall, is an oversized white button down. Now, Zara tends to always have these on hand. If you are a Zara shopper, these are something that you should just always get. I love this one because it has like some splits down the side. It's really oversized, which means I can wear it honestly without anything, or I can wear tiny like biker shorts so that I'm still able to wear it almost as a dress if I wanted to. I'm a person that loves to dress in oversized clothing. I think that the key to dressing in oversized clothing is really making sure that it's tailored enough to the body so you don't look like you're playing dress up in your dad's stuff or your little brother's stuff or whoever. So normally this is probably how I would style this outfit. Everything is all about balance. So sometimes people feel like if I'm wearing wide pants that means I have to wear a tight shirt or something cropped or you know something like that but that's not always the case you really can get away with wearing oversized things if as you can see I have it opened I don't button it all the way down so I'm not super closed up which gives me the essence of like being breezy and kind of on the go in addition you'll see that the pants are really cut or rolled up right at the ankle so even that little bit of skin that's happening right here like at my loafer is getting just enough so that I don't look so buttoned up that then the modesty is making me look like dowdy and kind of you know matronly right so I would style this with my Prada backpack I love this backpack this is the mini size um, I think it's perfect because the larger one tends to be really big and it does get heavy I'm a person that always has a lot of stuff in my purse. So I love this size because then I know girl is getting to the top. Chill out. You don't need all that. I have two different pairs of sunglasses I want to show you. These are the Eliza Johnsons, which I've shown you guys before. I have two pair of her sunglasses. I love them in this blue. First of all, when you wear these during the day, the blue tends to make everything outside more crisp. Because of the way that light works, it makes like all the whites more bright. It makes like, you know, so you can really see. I'm a person that needs to wear glasses when I drive, but 
I used to really only need them at night. As I'm getting a little older, I'm starting to need them sooner in the day, okay? <laughs> but these help with that. It just kind of gives like a clarity outside to vision. So I love that. I have these. This is the Jane. So if you want to know the style, this is Jane. I also have this pair of my Gucci frames, which Gucci makes some of my favorite sunglass frames um, of all time. And these are some that I actually found online when I was looking for these. I am an 80s kid, 90s baby, so I'm always going to love a little flip up. Shout out to Dwayne Wayne. If you know, you know. <laughs> so these are some of my favorite frames. I love these because I really do want to go get them filled with my prescription. That way, you know, I can see, but booyah, girl, we back. You know what I'm saying? I styled this with my J.W. Anderson slides. I'm not sure if you can see, so I'll hold them up. These slides are really great. I think it's a good, like, you know, shoe to have for just throwing on and going. Uh, I am a person with a narrow foot. So I would maybe size down a little bit just because it is a bit of a wide shoe. However, it starts to mold after a while and you don't have to really worry about that. But this will be the look for me with the oversized white button down. It again is one of my favorites. I think it's a must have and everybody should have a wide leg tan pants. Tan goes with everything. It's a neutral. It can be worn with bright colors. It can be worn with muted colors. It is just something that should exist in your wardrobe. This is a pair that I got from Koss, which also is a subsidiary of H&M. So, you know, there are levels. You have H&M, you have And Other Stories, and then you have Koss. And those are all holding the same sort of like look of clothing. H&M tends to be a little more trendy, but the price point goes up a little bit, but so does the quality. So if you're getting to the place where you're like, I love H&M, but the quality is not exactly what I'm looking for anymore. I want a little bit of a higher level. Check out and other stories. If you want a little bit above that, which is like a lot of staple pieces that you're going to have in your wardrobe a long time, I would opt for cost. If you don't have one where you are, online is the key for you, boo-boo. Okay? This, one of my favorite looks. Love it. It's comfortable. It's casual. And if you want it, you could throw on a little heel, dress it up, and you're ready to go. Okay, we are back. Now, this is a pair of vintage wash denim. I think that this color denim is the absolute best. It's so classic. It's so perfect. It leans and gives like to the old Levi's sort of like colorway. And it's one of my favorites. This is a straight leg denim, which I think everybody should have. It's not like ultra wide, but you know, it's enough to make you look like you're got a little height on you if you're a petite girl like me. Plus, as you can see, I've restyled the oversized button down. Now, what I've added is a vest. I am a firm believer in the third piece. Anytime you can add a third piece to your outfit, you've instantly added some more interest. And now it looks more like cool or put together than if you just threw on a t-shirt and like some pants and you were just out the door. It can be a vest, it can be a jacket, it can be a hat, something like that. But the third piece will always elevate your look. Something that I think everybody needs in their closet is a great pair, obviously, of black boots, but specifically moto boots. These boots I got from Ani Bing. They're the new uh, version. She now has the short and the tall version. I think an investment boot is something that you should get. Whether that investment is $100, whether it's $50, whatever that investment is for you, get the best quality boot that you can afford. Something that will last you, that can take your looks from just kind of like whatever to excellent in a jiff. When you throw this boot on, you instantly brought the look up. Now, there is something that another stylist will call like wearing the opposite shoe. So that means that like you don't put on the obvious, you know, footwear when you get dressed, but you put on something that someone may not think you would wear. And that also will add a little bit of interest to your outfit. With this, I think that a boot can always just, honey, it could set you off if you wear the right one. Also with moto boots, the older they get, the more worn in they get, the better they look. Like when you start getting them little scuff marks and it looks like your boots have a story, that's what I love. So I styled this with my Balenciaga mini city bag, which again, y'all know is one of my favorites. I picked this up at the outlets a few months ago and I am so glad that I did. 
I almost left this bag there, y'all. And I'm so glad I didn't leave that bag, okay? Because I have been using this bag everywhere. We talking about cost per wear. Baby, at this point, this bag probably cost me 13 cents because I use it so much. I'm going to style this also with my black Balenciaga cat eye shades. These are amazing. If you are somebody that's looking to try to like jump into the designer shade game, my suggestion to you, go to your local Nordstrom Rack. Always look there because they are going to have some styles that may be like a season or two older, but they're usually going to be classic styles at a more affordable price. Check them out and scoop you up some little glasses. I think I stopped in there one day and got these glasses. They were maybe like $100. You know, listen, work it out for you. And if not, head to Amazon. They have a black cat eye. Head to Forever 21. They have a black cat eye. You can make fashion work at all price points, trust me. But we have a little high-low, Balenciaga, Balenciaga. We're doing Ani Bing. These pieces, this is again, Zara shirt. This is the Zara tuxedo vest. And this is a pair of Madewell jeans. Here's a hint. Madewell always has some sort of sale. I don't care if it's buy one, get one. 20% off. Sign up for the Insider program and you will always be in the know great great jeans i love the denim this is actually a size i believe 30 or 31 but it's good honey okay it's like a classic look one of my favorite style icons diane keaton and baby it's giving diane okay y'all this is one of my favorite skirts and let me tell you i almost left it at the store because when you look at it initially you think instantly like school marm or mrs trunchbull from matilda but the way you can style it can make it look so cute that it gives like you an essence of lady likeness but you can also functify it and like make it super dope so again when we talked about wearing the quote-unquote wrong shoe i will rock this with some tennis shoes because it'll take away that school marm kind of look. If you try to throw on heels with this or like a ballet flat, it's going to give something else. We're giving upper east side, but what you want to give is a little funky. So I love to like, you know, take it down a little bit by throwing on a baseball cap. Baseball caps are some of my favorite things to wear. I know y'all see I got braids this week, but normally my pixie is going. And so I love a cap. Obviously, I like to have everything LA on it. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, but then I'm wearing it with like sort of a button down shirt that also can look very like pulled together and kind of tight lipped but because it's cropped and it's got the little like hem of the pocket showing it gives a little something I've rolled up the sleeves so you get a little bit of skin but you know it's still like warm it's gonna keep you like kind of cozy you're not feeling uncomfortable if you wanted to you could rock a little bobby sock if I'm wearing the sambas which are must have in people's closets these days the adidas sambas if you're looking for a tennis shoe that's of the season that's classic and probably not going out of style anytime soon cop you a pair of adidas sambas i love them in black but the black and white is cute but at this point they are making so many different variations you can get whatever floats your boat and it's gonna be cute but get you a samba okay it's lit so I'm rocking this with my black Gucci Marmont bag, which can be crossbody, over the shoulder, however you want it. I've even worn this like around my waist. And then I'm going to style it with two different pair of glasses. Like I told you, some of my favorite frames are Gucci. I recently got these Gucci frames filled. So these do have my prescription and I love like an old school throwback you know kind of like 80s hip-hop frame so i love what it does to the outfit it gives something like a little funky to it as well this is just like a look that i will wear you know maybe going like to a party maybe i'm going to a little kickback i have an event to go to if i'm going to look at some art at a gallery you know i might even rock this out to like girls day a little lunch you know it's the outfit that can carry okay it will carry you from here to there it again is one of my favorites. It's like a go-to look for me. I've worn this skirt with sweatshirts and like a beanie. It is just so perfect because it's a great little sort of, you know, flare skirt that crops right at the ankle. So if you wanted, you could put on a tall boot with a heel that will also kind of funky it up. But the tennis shoe to me is just like a great look. If I wanted to give this a little bit more sass, I will wear a different sunglass with that. And this is a pair of Saint Laurent cat eye glasses that I love. You always need a good pair of black cat eyes as we talked about. 
these are great because they kind of pull the face up so i love this pair of glasses some of my favorites and i think that this brings together the look for like what could be something sort of you know day to night a good sweater dress in their wardrobe and this is the ultimate high-low look because the dress was the kvb and target future collective collection shout out to my fellow bison kalana this was such a good dress i mean the weight of the sweater and the knit is so good i love the detailing of the buttons along the side the little slit i'm wearing these with an alaya boot which has like little grommets I got these when Barney's closed, y'all, for like a fraction of the cost that they were originally. These boots are perfect. I mean, you know, if you want to hit the town, baby, <laughs> hit them in this boot, all right? It is a great way to dress up like a look that really is giving like high-low. I paired it with my Goyard clutch. I love this pouch. It really can fit so many different things. And this is a GG Pip hat, which, you know, if you love a rancher kind of hat, GG Pip has great collections. Again, we're back with another Gucci frame because I can't help myself. These are just a good square, like pretty standard oversized frame that I love um, to throw on kind of deal. But I think a sweater dress is such a perfect thing that you can throw on because it essentially like it's a full look. You don't need anything else except for maybe a jacket. And what I love to pair this with is my cropped leather. Let me show you. This is a Barney's New York leather jacket that I actually got from ASOS like some years ago. But I love to pair this with something that I want to, again, give a little bit of edge to. I think sometimes when we put on knits, they can go, you know kind of like basic but if you add little pieces and elements that can really give the look something you know a little bit extra I think leather is a great way to do that when you mix your materials it's really giving you like some variety and some texture to your look that may not be expected so we've got leather and grommets right going with this knit we got a little bit of our hat going it's really like super cute I mean honestly throwing a little bit of goyard baby and we're ready to go we're ready to hit a date night we're ready to hit a girls night we're ready to go pick us up a little somebody all right it's giving I just do not feel like getting dressed. I wish I could wear sweats. Now you can. I'm showing you how you can wear your sweatsuit, but elevate it so nobody is like, why does that girl have on her sweatsuit? <laughs> okay, so one, material. Anytime you elevate your material and your fabrics, you're going to get a different sort of look. So this is actually a knit sweatsuit that I got from Zara in the men's section. I showed you guys this a few videos back. That was like a travel look that I wore. But knit will always make something look a little bit more elevated. And it's not going to feel like something you just sit around the house in. So it's a knit sweatsuit, all black. Black is always chic. Then I paired it with the Alaya boots. And the reason that I did that is because, again, the wrong shoe method. If you put on something that's unexpected with an outfit, it's instantly going to take it up. Nobody is going to expect you to have on five and a half inch boots, okay, with a knit sweatsuit. What are they going to expect? Some slides, some tennis shoes, something very casual. By then adding the third piece which is the blazer to this look, you are now taking it up even more and adding another level to it. So you can now get away with wearing your little sweatsuit, right? Your little sweatsuit out to dinner, out to someplace that is like a little more upscale. Whereas normally if you had on a sweatsuit, you wouldn't be able to do that. I paired this with my matte black Lady Dior bag. Again, we're sticking with the all black theme. And my little, these are my everyday sort of like circular shaped St. Laurent glasses. Um, 
this is like something that I would wear if I knew, girl, I gotta go to dinner, but maybe I'm on my period and I don't feel like really being there or I don't feel like going, or it's just cold outside, right? It's chilly and I don't necessarily wanna have on denim or jeans or something like super uncomfortable. I wanna be comfy. I wanna go eat, wanna look good, but I don't feel like doing the most. You can get away with this look because it's all black. You could throw on a blazer. And you know, if you're a person that wears color, pull out one of your cute color blazers. Throw a little element of brightness onto that look. You know, if you want to pop a color, do that. But this is like the perfect way to stay comfortable while still maintaining a level of chic. And nobody's going to tell you that you are not dressed right for the occasion. usually one for a matchy matchy but if you really wanted to like throw some booyah on the look and you want it to be casual I'm always down for getting like a cute dainty slide this is the just Gucci Prince Town which you know comfortable classic shoe you can get one everywhere dupes are sold if you don't want to buy the Gucci but again you see how the knitwear is dressed up another way this jacket I got from Zara and I love a big collar moment if you want to like pull it in on you, let's say you're doing your little holiday shopping, you know, you just going out, you need to step out real quick. I just threw this together with another again, high low look. These are literally some Amazon Celine butterfly dupes that I got. I just love the bright color, but I would never want to splurge on this bright of a color because it's not something that I wear all the time. So, you know, a dupe was perfect. This jacket is probably one of my favorite buys this season so far. I love the like buccal sort of texture. It's warm, it's comfortable, but it's also really lightweight. So it can be layered with multiple things. This is just my Louis Vuitton Alma bag. Love it, perfect. And the um, Epi leather. And this is like a look that I would probably just throw on to, you know, honestly go to soccer. Like, or just to, you know, step outside and say, okay, I'm running to get lunch with my husband really quick during the week or something easy like that. Because again, I'm comfortable, but I'm warm. We're giving it a little bit of fashion because we're bringing in some like tonals. And so, you know, pops of color can take you a really long way. Red for me is usually the pop I go to. If not red, it might be a mauve pink. Y'all know I keep the palette neutral just for that reason. But this is a look that, you know, is comfortable, but it can take you places. I love it. That's all I have for you hotties this week. I hope that you loved these fashion fall tips. Hopefully you saw something on my wardrobe in my closet that you can make work in your own. I'm happy to help any way that I can. Let me know in the comments what more you'd love to see if there's anything else that I can show you because you know me. I'm always trying to make sure that you know you deserve the best out of life because you are the hottest thing walking, honey. I love to see it. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend, hit me with a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.